Good afternoon, everyone. Today, back on the Tiger Cub. Uh, I'm going to fix that oil leak. I got to take out the uh, oil drain tube and uh, remove that. I want to put a long hose on it, like uh, the newer Skags are, and just have it up with a plug on the end of it, and that'll cure all of that oil leak. And uh, hopefully, I don't have any other oil leaks, but that should. Uh, Make things a little uh, cleaner and a little nicer for us because I don't, I hate having the oil all over everything. So uh, let's get started on this. Okay, first thing is with this tube here, there's no really good way of draining this. So I uh, put a hose on here. And then it's just a 10 millimeter wrench and this comes loose. That's pretty much all done drain. Now comes the messy part. I gotta get this cleaned up so I can get this apart. Get anything all over everywhere or dirt in anything. Three quarter maybe. Oh, right the first time. Then I just have to adapt. It's not where I want it to come out, but I'm just going to adapt the hose to this right here. Okay, after pulling this out, uh, I realized there is an O ring on here. And this O ring is uh, really stiff, so I am going to replace this O ring, which I have an O ring kit, and put this back in and, and just tighten this back up because I'm thickening. That's all it's going to take. Because originally I thought it was leaking out here. Because when this screws in, it blocks off the oil passage. So um, this is going to be actually better for me. Because I don't have to spend no money or go to a store today. Okay, there's the new O-ring. The old one, I just started prying on a little bit and it broke. It just, uh, it's... Yeah, it's that brittle, so that is where the oil leak was at, so that's a good thing. So I'm just going to put it back together and call it a day on this. What I just did is I screwed it in there until uh, I felt the O-ring seat. And hopefully it's seated. That part I don't know. But I'll just tighten up the nut now and go from there. Yeah, that's a little tough one there. Real good way of getting into that one. Okay, well, cross your fingers, this works. Now let's start this up, put some pressure on it, see if it's going to drip. I don't think it's going to, but it might. Then I'll have to get the hose after this.
Oh, it sure is nice out. Well, uh, yeah, I put my sunglasses on because it's kind of bright right here. But uh, it is not leaking at all. Or I just don't see any drips or anything. So we'll see what happens when we take it out and uh, warm the thing up and run it for a little bit longer than I have because I just run it for about 10 minutes and that was about it. So next project, uh, next video up, I've got to build something for the back to put some weights on there. So I need to put weights on the back end because when I have the thatcher and everything out there, it picks... Uh, all the weight off the back end and the tires have a tendency of spinning so I'm going to take the weights off of the Tiger Cat on the front there which we're not going to be using too much and uh, well, actually we will really use most of that but I'm only going to take two weights off and that's not going to affect that mower I'll put it on the back of here which I think could be about 50 pounds and it should do just fine so uh, that's going to be it for me for today we only have uh, 10 more days before we can go out to work and then everything will be good so Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you on the next one.